at Sea Trade with the Commissioner of Tourism, Joseph Washute. Joseph, a pleasure to see you. Good to see you, Bill. Thank you for having us here again. Uh, it's always awesome to be back in Miami Beach for Sea Trade. Uh, I guess whether we see you outside, we know it's really happening again. So thank you for. And it's nice that it's in Miami versus Fort Lauderdale. Nothing wrong with Fort Lauderdale, but the buzz here is is off the charts. It is, uh, and it's always uh, refreshing to be uh, in a place where there's so much energy. When I came in uh, on Sunday morning, and I was driving from uh, Miami to to the beach, right. and I saw like it was must have been like eight or nine cruise ships. They all light up. All the brands that come to the U.S. Virgin Islands were there. So. Uh, and I suspect one or two of them will end up in the U.S. VR this week. So it's always great to see that. The island is on fire and the tourist arrivals are just off the charts. What are the top activities that tourists enjoy the most when visiting the U.S. Virgin Islands? First and foremost, uh, we have some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Uh, but great amenities when you go to the beach. So it's not just uh, beautiful sand and, and sea, which we have uh, fortunately in abundance. But it's also the ability to have the kind of experience you want. So if, you, if you're looking to have an experience where uh, there's food and there's uh, restaurant facilities, um, we have that. If you're looking for a purist approach where it's just you and a few others on a secluded beach, we have that. Uh, of course, uh, if you come to St. Thomas, uh, St. Thomas continues to be a high retail center for cruise travelers. Uh, so we have very, very strong retail uh, across the board. Uh, and lastly, I always say, even though it's not an activity, but it represents great activities. Uh, we have wonderful people that are inviting. I want to allow you to feel uh, that you're at home away from home. What makes the U.S. Virgin Islands one of the most desirable islands compared to the others in your region? Uh, well, for us, is uh, we are U.S. territory. Sure. So, so the, the daily necessities that you have in Miami, for example, you all have in St. Thomas, St. Croix, St. John. So your ATM cards work, your cell phone works. Uh, if you happen to get ill, your health cards work. Right. Uh, if you're U.S. travelers. And of course, for us, not as much in the cruise sector, but if you do choose to come back, no passport necessary if you're a U.S. citizen. So those are the ones that we feature the most uh, as we represent uh, America's paradise uh, in, the, in the Caribbean. What sustainable tourism practices have been implemented in the U.S. Virgin Islands? Uh, a couple major ones that I'd like to highlight. One is we are very strong in uh, the energy, en environmental friendly sunscreens. Okay. So there is a law in place that, uh, that says, you know, if you have the non-toxins, uh, that is the law. Uh, and the second one is plastics. So we, we years ago, we outlawed uh, plastic uh, bags and utensils because many times, unfortunately, they end up in the sea, which hampers uh, the sea life and, and the, the coral. Tell me how the U.S. Virgin Islands uh, Tourist Department uh, collaborates with the local businesses uh, and communities to promote tourism and the economic development. Right. So at the U.S. Virgin Islands Tourism uh, Department, we are the macro arm of tourism. However, we are only as strong as our private sector businesses and right. nonprofit businesses. What marketing strategies are being used to attract a, a diverse uh, group of tourists to the island? Well, one is we, we, we have changed our marketing uh, platform. So we're very heavy in digital, like we see much of your sure, sure. and uh, that's key. Right. Uh, I think the other thing that we focus heavily on is analytics to, to, to not just use a shotgun approach to reach people, sure. but we want to be very targeted in who we reach. So for example, if we target uh, a group of 20-somethings that live in uh, New Jersey. Sure. When we target them, we want to target people that have an affinity to the Caribbean, uh, affinity to travel, in this case, cruise, uh, and lastly, have some kind of affinity to the U.S. Virgin Islands. That's what we want to send our ads to, and not the person that uh, is from somewhere in the upper Northwest, I've never thought about coming to the Caribbean, uh, so we might reach them, but our likelihood of being successful in actually getting them to book to come to the VI is less than the person we know uh, has an affiliation with her. So we're very targeted in our work. How does the U.S. Virgin Island Tourism Department support local artisan and cultural activities? Well, what we try to do is make sure, first and foremost, that their products are seen. Sure. So we got to make sure that uh, they get the products out. So we have a couple establishments. Uh, on our main street, which is our biggest uh, retail center, right. that focus just on local local right. products, right. Uh, and then of course they intermingle amongst the the jewelry and liquor and right. other uh, pieces that people come to the U.S. Virgin Islands to buy. Uh, but secondly, we want to make sure that we continue to support our local artists right. because you know many of them have the passion, but they don't necessarily have the business acumen to get their products out to people. Sure. So we try to support them. We actually have a program going right now with our with our agency that's specific around how you as a local business person can improve your profile on Google, for example, through our pictures, what you need to do 
uh, keywords so that when somebody searches, I want local products uh, in the USVI, all of a sudden you, you, you meet some of the keywords and then you come up. Uh, so we've been having this outreach actually with our private sector local businesses for four years now. And what we see is a continual improvement uh, in their ability, one, to, to get seen, two, to be more profitable, and three, of course, it enhances our overall product as a territory. Joe, in, in closing, now what future developments or products can visitors look forward to, to experiencing in the Virgin Islands? Well, we continue to, to aggressively uh, hone our tourism offerings. Uh, we're, we're one of the, the destinations uh, globally that uh, tourism product represents indirect and direct 70% of our GDP. So sure. if we don't hum, then we got a lot of people that, that are, are not going to live as good a life uh, in terms of quality of life. Uh, so we have continued to do hotel development. We just had one of our flagship properties, uh, the French Ridge Reef, come back online late last year. It was down from hurricanes in uh, 2017. Uh, we continue to, to work strong in our marine industry, not crews per se, but the other marines, the charter boats, the yachts. We're doing very, very well. And now we have the number one yacht facility in the world in St. Thomas in Yacht Haven Grand. Uh, and lastly, we continue to push to make sure that our uh, products continue to be sustainable because if we don't have sustainable products then we don't have what people love to come and see so you want to be able to walk in the water and put your head in the water and actually see your five fingers wow. cleared there and that's what we continue to try to strive to have joe what a pleasure and continued success with the u.s virgin islands thank you thank you Appreciate it.